2023 general election fraud. Our chairman, the national commissioners, Marche, did no wrong. I neg. Oh, really? <laughs> Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. The national leadership of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, has exonerated the chairman and the national commissioners of receiving any bribe to influence the conduct of the 2023 general elections in favor of the ruling All Progress Congress, APC. A group of staff of the INEC had petitioned the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, alleging sundry infractions, including financial sleaze, which they claimed helped to compromise of the 2023 general elections. The INEC staff who wrote the petition under the aegis of 2023 Kaduna promoted INEC staff equally accused the administration, administrative secretary of the commission in Kaduna State, Mohammed Mashi, of fleeting term of money meant for their promotion by paying them less than what it should be, among other allegations levied against him in the petition, being currently investigated by the EFCC. But reacting, the Chief Press Secretary to the Commission of INEC, Mr. Rotimi, dismissed the allegation, saying the petitioners were misconceived. According to him, those who wrote the petition did not have the correct position of what transpired on all fronts. There are lots of misconceptions from those who wrote the petition. When staff members are promoted, they are paid directly from the headquarters. In that way, there is no way the administrative secretary or any other staff, for that matter, can have access to the firms. Even the administrative secretary they are accusing of misconduct is number one in that list of the promoted staff and their payment were transferred directly from the headquarters to all the directly so he too was affected somebody on a higher grade level but lower step normally receives smaller salary than those on higher grade level but smaller step these they don't take i these they don't take to account they are claim that he is a personal friend to the chairman, cannot be proved. He is a deputy director and the most senior deputy directors can be promoted to a higher responsibility. The man has never ever traveled to Australia, as alleged. He has only been to Saudi Arabia for Hajj. When you look at the allegations, I don't think they are true. They talked about looting 300 million. It is impossible because how much is given to a state? I don't think the allegations are correct. The man is now being interviewed in the process of being promoted a full director. The man is from Castina State and not in any way related to the chairman of the commission and was never in NDA where Pro Professor taught for over 30 years. It is normal that every staff is considered a friend of the chairman. So even if INE takes it from that angle, INE take, takes it from that angle, they may be said to be right. Rotimi added, it is normal for people to be uh, uh, aggrieved, but the essential thing is the differential, differential but it is the headquarters problem and don't just affect Cardinal State alone. All the people who were affected have been 
computed and they have been corrected, they will soon receive the differentials, he said. You did no wrong because in your word lies, cheating and rigging are not wrong. You are a thief, murderers, liars. Wait for the wrath of God is coming upon you and your entire family. You just wait. INEC is a rotten establishment, wars and police. You are a liar. What did Professor Mahmoud Yakubu went to Tinbo's house to do in Lagos two days to the election? You have to explain. One way to suit the conscience in the face of the harsh revelations of 20, uh, 25th February 2023 is for some victim to make a habit of saying a million times to save each money, I did no wrong, I did no wrong, I did no wrong. Maybe, just maybe, his conscience will miraculously heal. The robbed masses will forget. EFCC, please do your job. Don't allow one idiot to tell you what to do. Talking about EFCC, which EFCC? The same EFCC that controlled by the same set of people with criminal tendency. God will punish Yakubu Mahmoud and his entire family. Maybe he die, he will die a shameful death for sacrificing the hope of Nigerians for his selfish interest. May he spend the millions of dollars that he collected in Indian hospital and still come back to Nigeria as a cargo. Hmm. This one has you. These are reactions from Nigerians. You see, these people are no longer trusted, trusted in Nigeria. They have betrayed Nigerians. For them to gain trust again from the masses is going to be very difficult. So nothing they will say that people will believe. So guys, let's hear from you. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel. If you have not, thank you.